Most of us rely on some kind of automated alert system, whether that's our alarm clocks waking us up in the morning to get to work, a meeting reminder, a severe weather alert, or when there's a system performance issue that occurs. Most of us take for granted, however, how reliable those systems are. What happens if the alerting systems that we rely on each and every day fails? AppDynamics is certainly not immune to payload misconfigurations causing alert issues or gateways being unreachable. There could be any number of reasons why an alert process or system fails. And just like the battery in an alarm clock, AppDynamics provides a cardinal option that helps keep your alert systems in check. This feature is part of the SAS controller released in April of 2023. I'm looking at our e-commerce application flow map generated by Cisco App Dynamics out of the box showing us a logical representation of all the transactions taking place. We have a lot going on to keep track of, so our operations teams need to rely on receiving relevant alerts. App Dynamics sends HTTP notifications along with a payload, such as the application name, tier, node, and any relevant data that ensures alerts are meaningful. This applies to using internal relay systems or allows one to integrate with third-party tools. We can see a list of HTTP templates by clicking alert and respond and then HTTP request templates. We can see one of our third-party integration examples here. I'm using a very basic post command sharing the application name, but again, you can include many other things to make it relevant. You must have the Configure HTTP Request Templates permission assigned to navigate to this page as seen in this screenshot. Okay, let's get back on track and click back on Alert and Respond and then Policies. We want to create a new policy and name it something like HTTP Action Failures. Expand Action Failures in the list of events and then select HTTP Action Failures. For the actions, we'll need to add how we want to receive notifications of action failures. You can leverage an existing method or create a new one, but obviously it needs to be different than HTTP requests. These can be in the form of an email or with or without a template, an SMS message, open a JIRA ticket, but using an email would probably be the best choice here. An HTTP request action sends an HTTP request along with an optional payload in order to respond to an event that occurs. These types of actions allow you to integrate AppDynamics alerting policies with third-party HTTP APIs. To ensure those HTTP requests are functioning properly, you can configure a test for each unique one by leveraging the HTTP action failures configuration setting within AppDynamics using another method of notification such as an email. Be sure to check out our documentation on Alert and Respond for more details. Have a tip you'd like to share? Share it in our Community Share Tip section, and who knows, maybe your tip will be the next tip of the month. Thanks for watching.